Free Comic Book Day Minicon is coming the first Saturday in May, May 2nd. We are giving away 20,000 comics, way more than we gave away last year. Plus, we have Free Comic Book Day Month, which entitles you to free stuff all month long. As you guys know, Free Comic Book Day, May 2nd. So much going on. Great guests coming down. Chris Wisnia is one of them, and you'll meet him in just a second. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me, Ben. Now, you, um, you've been publishing for a while. I realized uh, it was 10 years last Comic-Con. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it, you have produced quite a bit of stuff during those 10 years. It doesn't feel like it. Um, but the amount of time that you put into it must <laughs> feel like it somewhat. Yes. Because yes. uh, that's taxing work. Because you, you, you are an artist. You're a writer. Um, you, you do cons. I have uh, a day job. I have two kids. <laughs> they're, they're, those are the two big ones right there. So let, let's back up a little bit then. Um, since you were thinking about it, and it's been 10 years, what was the very first thing you ever did? The first thing I published was called uh, Tabloia Weekly Magazine, and it was a pseudo-anthology. Hey, too. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it was a pseudo-anthology of tabloid uh, stories, and um, a lot of those stories I have continued to do to this day. So um, now it, it was kind of a tryout book to yeah. see, you know. Was Doris in that first one? Doris was in the first one. Okay, yeah. is that yeah. the one that, that it seems like that that's the one that you've used the most? Am I wrong? Uh, or is it just the no. name is so catchy with Doris Danger? <laughs> it uh, I I think I've done I think about two hundred fifty pages of Doris at this point. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And you do <laughs> all of your own art, right? The inking, the pencils. Yeah, um, I. I, I'm a creator and a writer and an artist and a letterer and an editor because I, I uh, you know, spend a lot of time self-publishing. Um, with with the Doris books, I met Dick Ayers, who inked uh, Jack Kirby's um, classic work, and uh, the Doris Danger stories are kind of an homage to Jack Kirby's uh, pre-superhero giant monster comics from the Atlas era, okay. and uh, Dick agreed to ink some of these stories. So That's pretty impressive, actually. I, I call them authentic rip-offs. That's awesome. <laughs> and um, since then, I've, I've had um, some other people kind of do some Th inks. That's got to be a highlight, though. To yeah, have him been, actually it, go over your stuff and be interested enough to want to work on it. It was validating. That's yes. great. And um, I, I started out trying to get... Um, pinups of some of my favorite artists in, in the books and everyone just kind of shrugged me off and um, Dick agreed to ink these stories and once I got those stories I, I showed those pages to sometimes the same artist and they're like oh wow and so it, it just completely changed how the the um, the industry kind of mm -hmm. viewed me you know they, they took okay. me more seriously at yep. that point that's fair so, enough. So so then, at this point, how many books have you done? It, it's kind of you got love. not exactly. You got, you got, <laughs> I um, like Dick, that. You got Dick Hammer? <laughs> Dick Hammer, conservative Republican private mm -hmm. investigator, yeah. Um, the, the Lump was um, kind of a horror, noir, mad scientist ode to EC Comics and Twilight Zone stories and things like you that. You laugh when I said um, that to her. Did you not want to mention The Lump? But... <laughs> I I wrote a screenplay of the lump for an actor and uh, nothing's happened with it. And uh, that doesn't mean anything more. Uh, you guys, <laughs> right. I've got a screenplay, some, producers. There you go. Yeah. Anybody out there? Uh, this is yeah. man to contact here, or <laughs> if if you see it get uh, put up on Newsarama, then you know where to come because uh, for the issue or that's for the trade. Right. That's right. So yeah. uh, so I mean that's a lot though. Yeah. So there's those. Um, I, I did an issue's worth of um, Dr. DeBunko, DeBunko of the Super, right. Bunker of the Supernatural. Um, I did some mini comics of... What uh, was the one, that, the zombie one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there was a haunted house in Illinois, and they, they asked me to do a comic book of the experience that yeah. they could give out to uh, the goers. And so I, I did that uh, one and a half years. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so you, I mean, you've done quite a bit. Um, what are you working on right now? 
I, I've been working on a few secret projects for like three years. And, um, All right. <laughs> and it's still in three, the bag right now. There, there are two publishers I thought mm -hmm. that were interested in three of these secret projects. Okay. And uh, I'm still waiting to sign contracts and I, okay. i'm starting to wonder so so you, are you going to happen are you still working on these projects are you moving yeah, forward yeah. with them because no, yeah, you don't want to wait on them yeah i um i'm such in the industry that i don't get much of a page rate and if i do it's not usually in advance <laughs> okay and so if i signed the contract likely i wouldn't see any money until i've produced the work anyways and that, okay so, so you might yeah. as well have it done yeah, and so I, I'm getting as much done as I can. Having a finished product, or you know, a near complete product, when you go to people, that that's got to be. It's easier for them. Yeah. So I, I spent, I, I think, five years self-publishing, and then started kind of working into the getting published. And Letting I, I somebody else that. take. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine because it, it, yeah, it's a lot of work pushing your own stuff, putting it together. Uh, but you're not done yet. Um, on Free Comic Book Day, what will you have down here for us? Boy, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I, I've been doing these uh, Doris Danger Giant Monster stories with SLG Publishing okay. for five or so years, and so I'll have some of that. Okay. Um, I, I might print up some silly mini comic, you know, handmade, one of a kind stuff, just just to have something. Just for the day, so that, that'll yeah. that'll be cool. That'll be something uh, something you guys can see. Yeah, I'll, I'll have uh, trades of the lump, trade Perfect. paperback. I'll have. Um, Copies of Tabloia. Uh, I'll so bring, a little bit of I'll everything. Bring then, yeah. Comic. I'll, I'll bring. I'll see what I can. It, it's local, so I can just throw it all in the car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can come right down <laughs> and here if, and. Uh... If you come in and I don't have something, just ask. I'll go out in the car and grab. Nice. You know that should be our slogan. Every, every one of our artists and writers should be held accountable. To that. Um, so where online can we find your uh, your presence? My website is uh, tabloia.com. That's a combination of tabloid and paranoia. And um, I'm on Facebook, uh, theoretically. Uh, I, I don't theoretically? Do, I, I'm, I'm on, you know, Twitter and, you know, this and that. But um, I, I've been kind of reclusive. Okay, so is that all under Chris Wisnia? Or is yeah. It under, okay. Chris Wisnia, yes. So you guys can find all that. We'll, we'll have links to make it easy, and then uh, you can track him down and uh, pull him out of the shell. <laughs> uh, make sure he interacts. I, there's only uh, so much time in the day, so I, I can either get work done or I can... That you get know, lost what, on Facebook. So. That that is very true. It it gets it gets a little addicting. Um, so May second, you guys come on down, meet Chris, uh, see the huge work, or body of work that he's done, and uh, and if the, he doesn't have something in his table, just make him go out to his car and like make it up. <laughs> I'll don't, drive don't home if I it. didn't bring it in the car. Okay. See, look at that's commitment. That's what we're looking for. Um, well, thank you for coming down, Chris. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, for having and me. we will see you on May second. I'll see you there. All right.